Hello and welcome back to part two of my two-part series of my N-Scale Willow Creek Subdivision Rotary Dumper Series. Uh, we're still following the train here, um, loaded train just come up off the helix, come off up off the grade and we're just going to watch it. Uh, it's coming through Oakhurst at the moment on its way to Caliente and we'll just follow it as it goes through um, on its way. The whole layout being an actual point-to-point -point layout uh, where the train's coming through now is actually uh, the main line that well, it basically connects everything up to everything. And this is quite a very busy uh, rail line through here. Uh, this sees a, a lot of traffic. Um, it's the main vein between all the, the different uh, towns that I have. Where the, the train is actually rounding the bend coming into Willow Creek now, which is where the layout actually gets its name from. This is actually a junction as well. The track straight ahead is the main line to Mojave and where the locomotive's deviating off at the moment is the actual line off to Caliente. It uh, doesn't look like a junction, but it's um, where it splits. I don't run live gravel loads to Mojave. That's a freight only line. Um, the gravel trains, this is as far as they go along along the line and this is where they deviate. The locomotive will go through what you'll look like as a warehouse. I want the viewer to sort of keep them guessing like where is that train going? Where is that? Where is it heading to? I don't want to make it too obvious where things are heading to. And um, quite often I actually confuse myself. There's something about the mystery of where that train's going or where it's coming from. Um, it just keeps you interested, it keeps you, you thinking, um, and it gives the excitement of where that train's going to pop out next or where you're going to see it next or where does that line go to. So it's just coming through the, the warehouse building you're seeing now that's sort of disguised as the junction off to Caliente where the uh, rotary dumper will be. This is the opposite side of where that factory building is. Obviously this area is still uh, heavily under construction, but the train pokes through and it's coming into the Caliente yard. This is where the rotary dumper is and we've got a, a run around system here. Because it's a point to point layout, I have to have run arounds um, at the terminuses. This is the terminus of the uh, where the live gravel loads come in. The, the gravel train will come in and the previous video you probably would have seen that gondola car sitting right next to the bridge there um, this is where that that car plays, plays a major role in how i unload these trains so we'll just pull in here we'll, we'll cut from this train and we'll bring the locomotive back and we'll, we'll couple onto that gondola that gondola is what i call a handle car and I'll couple onto that and what that car actually is I can't run a locomotive onto the rotary dumper bridge um, obviously because it well if you're looking at model terms it will be too heavy for the rotary dumper bridge but also the locomotives don't actually fit into my rotary dumper so this car handle car shove car uh, whatever you want to call it it's um it's used for all of my live gravel loads and it really helps when you're unloading that last car when you need to push that last empty car off the bridge couple up to the rest of the empties and uh, and pull them out here we are I'm just coupled up to that car and I'm running around the, the consist I bought in of uh, loaded gravel cars I'll run around and I'll attach onto the back of that consist uh, that I just bought in
now that I've hooked onto the rear of that uh, the consist I'm going to pull them all the way out and I will pull them all the way out clear of that switch there that the locomotives running over at the moment um, once we get there then we will get a shove back and we'll push these cars back to the rotary dumper and we will start the uh, the unloading process Here we are just slowly pulling up to the rotary dumper here now I've tried magnets um, all sorts I've got micro trains magnetic magnetic uncouplers I haven't found anything that is extremely reliable so I'm just using skewers so you'll see little jumps in the video where I don't like to show my hands uncoupling these cars but um, until I find a decent way to 100% um, uncouple these cars problematic then yeah but until then I'm just using the barbecue skewer now uh, we see the first car here has been spotted onto the, the dumper bridge and it's being dumped at the moment now, this dumper is 100% scratch built uh, I've got no plans for it the plans are all sort of in my head um, I just went ahead just like the, the loader that I had in the, the previous video there I just went ahead and just built it. It all works off uh, counterweights and gravity to sort of um, dump them and unload them. It uses a motor with a little bit of rope that sort of, I don't know if you can see, but it's slung over the arch that's closest, well, closest to the dumper building. And the motor pulls up a little cable drum it tips it over and then when the dumper returns it um, a counterweight actually pulls it back to the reset position and uh, it's ready for the next the next dump there I use a double pole double throw switch so I can I'll flick the switch one way and we'll dump it and I flick the switch the other way and it will uh, return it but um, I'm still I'm still working on it there's little bits and pieces and tweaking to it and detailing I have to do it but the way it works now is it's it's quite flawless actually I've, I've been on half a dozen of these trains through this rotary dumper at the moment testing and uh, it's it's really I'm, I'm very pleased with it um, the whole operating the whole speed of it I'm very very happy with it so as I go on I'll do minor tweaks to it so that's the first car dumped, the second car's obviously just been dumped as you see there, so when that car returns down, the train will come and will push that empty car off and it will couple up to the other empty car over there. So I'll push forward all the way past there and I'll uncouple the car there and I'll bring that loaded car back into centre onto the bridge there underneath those uh, those arms that hold the car there while it tips upside down once that car's spotted I'll pull the other cars away and the dump sequence continues and I'll, I'll do this throughout the whole um, the whole eight cars until the, the, the consist is completely empty but yeah I'm very happy how this turned out
he is, I said. Here's a little bit of a, a jump in the video here. Uh, yeah, um, I just don't like showing my hands while I'm uncoupling them. I don't want to, to get them in the way. And also for the rivet counters, you probably know that these are belly dump wagons. Um, actually, I did think about that, but also in prototype, after doing a bit of research, they actually do put uh, bottom dump wagons into rich dumpers as well. So um, I'm just going to go with that. Um, I don't, I don't have the modding skills to be able to open up the bottom doors on each car. So yeah, just if you're wondering. Um, yeah, I'm using rotary dumper with uh, bottom dump cars. Okay, so now you've pretty much got the gist of how my uh, rotary dumper works. I don't really want to bore you so much, so I've fast forwarded. This is the last car being dumped on that consist. And you can see to the right there the yellow gondola that I use. This is that handle car, pusher car, shove car, whatever you want to call it, uh, because I physically can't put a locomotive on the rotary dumper. Um, this car is used couple on to the car that's just been dumped and also the rest of the consist that has been uh, dumped. Once everything's all coupled up we'll go ahead and we'll pull that consist out of the rotary dumper track there um, and we'll pull it completely clear of that and we'll get ready to spot that car back into the yard. trying to go one step further I want to see if I can get I know there's small electronic scales but I'm I don't know I'm call me pedantic here but I'm trying to figure out a way how I can weigh each car um, using little electronic scales so I don't know I'm sort of throwing a few ideas around maybe that might be a little bit too much but we'll see how we go so we pulled that consist clear we've uh, thrown the switch there and the train order that we got is uh, 541 the last order was to tie this train down at Kalanta Yard so everything being dumped and unloaded we're going to just shove back into the yard here and this train will sit here until that next um, live gravel load order comes up where we'll collect it again and we'll do another run down to Powder River and we'll uh, repeat the whole process over again. The hole in the back scene here is I've, I've got a couple of ideas how I'm going to mask that up. I've got a steel mill to the immediate right of this shop here, so I'm going to I've got a couple of ideas of doing a um, maybe like a steel structure to sort of mask the hole in that back scene there. But so we'll just shove those cars back there and uncoupled the gondola, shove a car, push a car, handle car, whatever you want to call it now. I've forgotten what I want to call it. It's pulled forward again and. We're going to shove it back down, all the way back down to where the, uh, we're going to spot it down to where it was before, so when the next loaded train arrives, 
we'll repeat the process there we'll uncouple from the loaded train hook onto that and uh, so it's there for our next uh, for the next journey Okay, so we'll just push the car in there. We'll uh, cut from that car and set the handbrake and make everything all right. And I've actually got no other orders for this locomotive at the moment. So um, we're just gonna tie it down here in the yard at Caliente until the next, uh, to the next order or the next uh, time it's rostered on. But that's basically in a nutshell how I run live gravel loads on my in-scale Willow Creek Model Railway. Um, I mean, it's, I hope you hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you, you may have learned something, but yeah, that's basically how I'm done. I'm just gonna pull the locomotive up here and that'll be it for the day. I'd also just like to thank you if you, you managed to to get through both of these videos I mean this is the second video of a two-part series on how I did my live loads um, I do hope you enjoyed it and definitely um, cheers thanks for watching and please like subscribe you'll get new upcoming videos and um, see you on the next one